Have you ever heard of variable valve timing? It's one of those little mechanical wonders that has forever changed the way four-stroke engines work. But then, are variable valve timing and shift cam the same thing? And which system is better? Let me explain it to you now. Let's start with the basics. In a four-stroke engine, the four phases, intake, compression, combustion, and exhaust, are managed by valves that open and close following a very precise rhythm, controlled by a shaft called the camshaft, which rotates in sync with the crankshaft to which it is connected by a belt, a chain, or even a gear train in the most refined engines. The camshaft controls not only the timing of when a valve opens and closes, but also how many millimeters the valve opens. In technical terms, this measurement is called lift, but of course there is a limit, the timing is fixed. A certain number of degrees of rotation of the crankshaft corresponds to a certain number of degrees of rotation of the camshaft, and therefore a certain number of millimeters of valve opening, regardless of the engine speed. So this is a compromise, because the timing can be designed to deliver maximum performance at high revs, as in sports or racing engines, or it can be set up to provide lots of torque at low revs, but of course you lose a bit in maximum and sustained power. But what if we wanted it all? If we wanted engines that are powerful at high revs and always richer in torque at low revs, how would we do it? This is where variable valve timing comes into play. A system that allows you to change depending on the engine speed, the moment when the valves open and close and allow us a bit of pride when we say that the first engine with variable valve timing dates back to 1980 and comes from Italy, specifically from Alfa Romeo. And when we talk about variable valve timing, there are two main families of systems. One, variable timing. The system essentially consists of changing the phase, that is, it varies the position of the camshaft relative to that of the crankshaft. The valve lift therefore remains the same, but the opening of the valve can be advanced or delayed, and the valve overlap can be modified. This system is used by Ducati, Suzuki and also Moto Guzzi. It is a continuous and smooth system, it changes the timing progressively and is excellent for torque and smooth engine operation. 2. Shift Cam This system, on the other hand, involves having two different cams on the same camshaft that can operate the same valve, obviously not in parallel, not at the same time. In this case, the cam profiles are different. There is a milder one, if you'll allow me the term, designed for torque, and a more aggressive one that comes into play above a certain RPM to deliver maximum power. In this case, both the timing and the valve lift can change. This system is used by BMW, KTM and Honda. Pros and cons of the two systems, I'll tell you now. Phase variation systems are simpler to make, linear and perfect for achieving smooth power delivery and also reducing fuel consumption. The shift cam is able to offer the engine a dual character, gentle at low revs, aggressive at high revs, but they are more complex and expensive to produce. It's a bit like having, in fact, two engines in one. If you enjoyed this Red Tips, give us a like and follow us. There will be many more coming.